Okay, under antitrust law, what is the uh, per se illegality of an activity and what is the rule of reason? Well, uh, under antitrust law, particularly the Sherman Act, certain types of conduct is deemed to be illegal per se. That is, if a competitor in the market undertakes this type of activity, period, it is illegal. Okay, it is deemed to be a naked restraint of trade. All right, there are no com pro competitive justifications for this activity that could in any way justify this activity, so thereby it's somewhat like a strict liability standard. Undertaking this type of activity or demonstrating this type of activity is illegal, uh, no questions asked. The court will not go or the FTC will not look further into whether. Um, the uh, there is any reasonable justification for this activity okay that should be compared with the rule of reason this is the uh, second and lower standard for uh, determining when conduct by market competitors is anti-competitive and thereby unfair to consumers now uh, the determination of whether uh, something is is fair or whether uh, there is a reasonable justification uh, for the activity turns on whether there are any pro-competitive justifications for this conduct that otherwise could result in unfairness or any competitive uh, market conditions so the court will simply evaluate uh, the total mix or, or combination of circumstances out there to determine whether there are any pro-competitive justifications and how do those pro-competitive justi justifications uh, weigh against the potential uh, negative or anti-competitive impact. Some of the factors that the court will uh, or FTC will consider will be the facts peculiar to the particular business, actual or probable effects of restraint, that is the extent of potential anti-competitive effect, the history of the restraint, the purpose of the restraint, the scope of the restraint, the convenience to suppliers and consumers, and the creation of new products if, the, if it somehow promotes competition in that way. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, this will be a sliding scale against the potential anti-competitive effects uh, associated with this type of activity and then these potential positive pro justification pro-competitive justifications there. And then there is a third less known or, or less understood um, standard. They are known as the uh, quick look or truncated rule of reason. And this is when certain courts in certain situations will allow in what would otherwise be per se illegal activity, the court will allow the defendant to present evidence that the conduct actually does not fall under a uh, per se illegal standard that is not should not be considered per se illegal and this uh, this is normally some evidence or justification uh, of a pro competitive outcome of that type of conduct rather than it simply being uh, anti competitive per se by nature um, so and if the court is convinced by this information then it will uh, go on to a full-blown rule of reason investigation if it's not convinced by this uh, um, pr initial presentation of evidence of a pro-competitive justification then it just shuts it down and uh, applies per se illegality and the standard is whether the uh, uh, defendant actually um, took part in this type of practice and if they did uh, there is liability and, and that conduct can be uh, enjoined or, or stopped or any other number of remedies that are available uh, to the court in this type of situation. Uh, so those are the standards. Primarily we're going to focus on per se illegality versus uh, the rule of reason.